Hey guys. Well, I have been sorting through comments about this car, this 2006 Fusion that I bought back last year for 800 bucks. It's a Craigslist Fusion. And that video's gotten a lot of views on it, like 38,000 views, something like that. And the unfortunate part of that is I've gotten these people on there that have been abusive and mean and name, call names and whatever. So I've taken a lot of crap off of them. So I'm about to start moderating that video very heavily. But along with that, I just started to notice that I've gotten so much stuff from these people that not only are the people being mean and abusive and, like I said, calling me names, which don't bother me so much, but they're spouting off this information that's totally wrong. The doofus doesn't even know what he's talking about. So I thought I would straighten this out and try to help you people that some of you don't even deserve being helped, but try to keep you from embarrassing yourself further by saying something wrong about it. So anyway, this is a 2006 Ford Fusion. You've seen these everywhere. They are everywhere. My neighbor over there has got one. Drives it all the time. And uh, it's the same car as up through a 2012. Same basic car, but they changed some stuff around on it. So let's take a look and try to understand this. So anyway, we'll open the hood up here. All right, I went ahead and popped that hood up and got it open. So first thing, let's cover on this and let's try to understand this and, and replay this video over and over and over till you understand this and you no longer get it wrong, all right? I've had people scream out the same thing, ending with a name calling, and they say, Ford is owned, Boston is owned by Ford. Boston is owned by Ford, you, you blank blank. Well, what the actual truth of that is, if you want to say it the right way and tell what's the truth and not make a mistake and not be embarrassed and look like an idiot, is that Ford owned shares in Mazda. They didn't own Mazda totally. They never owned Mazda totally, ever. Go Google it. Go look it up. If you don't believe me, go look it up. So that's the first thing you got wrong, all right? And now Ford doesn't even own shares in it. They sold them September 30th, 2015. It's right there on Wikipedia and everywhere else. They don't own any part of Mazda any longer at all, ever. Okay, gone. It's over. So, that out of the way, that bit of misinformation out of the way, let's talk about this engine that's in this car. This is, this is what Ford calls the Duratec 23 and this is a 2.3 liter engine that is basically a Mazda engine. It's a Mazda design. Ford did not design it. Ford did not design it. I don't care what name is on the front of the car. This is not a Ford designed engine. Ford is part of their ownership stake not totally, but their ownership stake of Mazda, they got access to some of their engines and engine designs, so they produced this engine in Mexico, I think it is, and they called this, Ford calls this the Duratec line of engines, part of the Duratec line, and it's called, um, I think Mazda actually calls this the MZR family of engines, which is three different families, but what this thing if you go back in the lineage of this engine, this has evolved from what's called a Mazda. Uh, I think this was, I said somebody, I told somebody something wrong myself. I thought I said a F engine, but I think this is the L. Mazda calls their engines by uh, alphabetical nomenclature. They had F engines. They had one like in the Proteges I had. They had a FS, DE, FPDE. They had a Z engines. A Z6, I had a ZMDE, they had Mazda B engines, which are quite well known. There are a lot of those in the old Escorts, B6, and all that. So, this is a Mazda engine. If you take this engine out and you set this beside a Mazda 2.3 liter, I guess it is L engine, they call this, out of a Mazda 6, you can probably transfer over about 99% of the components. There might be some small little parts different on it, but start, middle, end. It's a Mazda designed engine. Ford built it. That's all they did. 
So, you know, they might have put their power steering pump on it. They might have put their cap on it. But, what do you say? It's a Mazda engine. So stop screaming out all these comments that are incorrect. I'm not going to put up with it. I'm tired of hearing it. Don't get, don't come on this video or any other video and say, say, you're wrong. You're a blank blank. You, that's a that's a Ford engine. It's in a Ford. That's it. Check out this sweet uh, K1500 truck going by here. He lives back here behind me. Anyway, so that's the deal with this. It's not a Ford engine. It's in a Ford. Ford produced it. You know, if you want to call it a Ford engine because Ford produced it, okay, fine. But they did not design it. It started out life as a Mazda engine. And this is also a Mazda transmission behind it or beside it. Ford calls this the uh, FNR5. And Mazda calls it the, F I think they call this one the FS5AEL. A lot about this transmission I've covered on this channel. I'm not going to go back into it, but it's a Mazda transmission. And if you don't believe me, I'll make a video showing you the Mazda sticker on it. So let's just drop all that, okay? Move on from it. Stop screaming out wrong information. You know, and I'm going to tell you something, guys. When you, you know, I know some of you have personality issues, and that's just the way YouTube is. And you have to encounter people like you that that do this to people you don't make videos and all you do is try to attack other people and victimize them and abuse them till they get enough of your shit and they kick you the hell off so you know i'm gonna put up with this for a limited amount of time and then like i said i don't like doing it but i'm gonna start moderating comments heavily if i have to do it i will do it because i'm you know i'm not gonna take it i'm not gonna take anybody's abuse I'm not gonna take your shit so Go somewhere else. If you don't like what's on this channel, you don't like the way I speak, the way I look, then you have the choice to go somewhere else, and I suggest you do it on your own before I do it for you. So, anyway, so if you have any more questions about this engine and this car, you know, I've already said before, this is a Mazda-based car. The chassis is it's it's a variation of a Mazda chassis, but the Mazda 6 is very closely related to this car. And speaking of this engine, they had this engine in a 2 liter and they also had it in a 2.5 liter. The 2.0 liter is the one that came before this in a, in a uh, Ford Focus. And then the 2.5 liter is basically the same engine, MZR engine, or Ford calls it the Duratec 25. But that's the one that is in the later fusion, like about a 2013 on up. I don't know. I take that back. They started using those in 2010. So... Same basic engine though, there's not much difference in it. The only difference in the 2010 Fusion on up is that they quit using the Mazda transmission and they started using the Ford transmission, which is the, uh, they call that the 6F35. There's also a stronger version of that called a 6F50, which is used in like a uh, Edge and the Taurus and things like that. It's just a higher strength transmission, so anyway. Appreciate all you guys watching, except the ones that leave nasty comments. Uh, if you want to have a battle of knowledge with me, we will do that. But I know a lot about this car, so. Ken, the duty head comments about it, okay? And anyway, this car's just been holding up fine. It had a few problems. It slid downhill a little ways, but it's on the upswing. So I've got more than my money's worth out of it. I put about 12,000, 13,000 miles on it so far. So, yeah. Okay, then. It's not a bad car. See ya.